Okay, hey there. Uh, hey, uh, went out to Auburn to uh, empty, you know, the, uh, the last machines here and uh, get the CoinMic members. And uh, so I did the pop, and then when I hit the service button, this will tell you. Um, I can't see it now, but when I hit the service, it said short, S-H-R-T, and then it said 13, meaning, okay, there's a short in the motor, 13, meaning something's stuck. So, went to check the water, felt underneath, and sure enough, uh, as I feel under there, yeah, it's uh, just completely jammed up in there. So, I tried to kind of jog it loose from the uh, uh, underneath while I hit the test bend button, so that way maybe the motor would turn while uh, I could pull on it, right? Well, that didn't work, because there are actually two of them jammed in there pretty well. And so, the only other thing you can do is start emptying it out. And I'm just throwing them up here as I go. And, sorry for the camera. Um, here we're getting down to it, and you can see there's one jammed like that. And there's actually a second one. Oh, yeah, see that right there. So, how do you get those out? Uh, you just gotta work them out. Uh, you really don't wanna try to turn that uh, motor on its own, or I mean with your hand, uh, like backwards or anything else. You can turn it in the direction that it wants to go, but it doesn't wanna go that way because turn it in the direction that it's supposed to, is what I meant to say, but it doesn't want to do that because it's jammed. So, you gotta do your best, work it from the top, work it from down low, and just try to get those out, and then um, and then start over. And do not put those bottles back in because they're gonna be soft and, uh, you know, all jammed up. So, I will be back once I get this worked out. Some of them are easy, some take a while. I have had one in the past where I actually had to empty like take the cap off and um, you know empty it basically put a bucket or something down there where the water you know because the water's going to come and start coming down this um, and then get it out when the bottle's empty um, you know shoot you might have to do that with a pop and if that's the case you got to get down there and really clean this out so it's not all sticky right so just uh, you know certain things happen there's always a fix um, Take them as they come. So uh, I'm gonna pause this and work this out. And I only paused that for about 10 seconds. So it was pretty easy actually. I just pulled out the one through the top. The other one I kind of reached underneath and tried to push it up back through once that other one was loose and it did push back up. So I'm gonna take this out and the cap is kind of caught. Let's see, the cap's still caught in there. There it goes. So these were the two culprits, um, you know, they don't feel different, but uh, we're not going to put those back in. So anyway, kind of a good thing I was here, I suppose, so you don't have that first day. But um, anyway, that will happen, and water for sure is the one you generally always want to check, because uh, sometimes you can't see it. Um, you know, if there's 10 or 12 in there, which there were, it was almost to the bar. You just can't see that bottom one, um, especially, of course, if there's drinks in front of it. So, um, all right, that's the lesson of the day. More to come.